uh, yeah, so it was my first semester. I turned in my final assignment this morning. I'm probably going to double check because sometimes the website likes to like delete what I wrote in my post. And um, yeah, I think the beginning of the semester was so funny because I was just beasting everything like I was amazing. I feel like that's everyone. You start off great. But I think I always start off the best in the beginning, then get worse. But I think the thing about me is if I still have that motivation and that like drive, I'll try harder. And because it's grad school, like I have a different perspective than undergraduate. Grad school now for me is like, this is a job. Like this is for my job. You know, I wake up, I don't dress professional, but I kind of, you know, put on like flats and put on like, I actually try to keep the same like uniform I had for my job. So mentally I can be like, oh, gotta go to work today. And that's the only thing pushing me is like, I'm paying for this, even though like I'm not getting paid, like I'm paying for this. So I need to get up and go. But because of like all this like racist, like just racist like microaggressions and obviously like I decided to you know start dating someone and you know kind of breaking up literally at the worst time like it kind of affected me in a bad way like at the beginning of the semester I just stayed inside um didn't get out much I didn't go on dates I was too scared I should just kept that mentality because when I finally like opened up and like met this dude he kind of messed it up for me because right when I needed some support and help from like being discouraged by like teachers and um you know not really having friends like the one friend I thought uh just kept saying these really like racist things and she like would say she knew they were wrong but she would still like go ahead and say them which I'm like okay you already know you're wrong so why would you still say that to me just to like ruin my day my professors just offended me on a daily basis and like I don't know what it was like I would say about a month ago I just kind of like gave up I was like I will be surprised if I make it through the semester mentally and also academically, like my work. It suffered a lot and I stopped caring about like the reason I came, which was to get some research published, to get my portfolio. Like I still did all the assignments that were meant to add to my portfolio, but let's be real, like I could have done so much better. Sorry. But yeah, I was, I was very discouraged and when I went home on Thanksgiving, I was surprised to find that, you know, every college kind of has a little bit of that, like, non-inclusive feel. Like, I'm sure HBCUs do not, but you know, other colleges besides my people's colleges, like, they just have that kind of, you know, feel. What I will say is that my undergraduate college I felt comfortable with the first time I went there I was like I can't go here you know there was a situation where I was like they're being racist to us they're doing this but I don't think it was that I think it was it was just that situation because the rest of the time I spent there I grew up so much as a person and everyone around me was so motivating and not discriminatory like of course there are situations here and there but no one had made me so unmotivated that I literally wanted to leave the university. And that's like how I feel. I mentioned in another um, vlog, like I really, like, it's so weird because it's like one day they're encouraging you and they're doing this. And I can't technically say that from their mouth, like they discourage me, but the racist comments and like derogatory stuff they said about like me like about being black or about like them being white or like 
you know, certain stuff that didn't have anything to do with a course or, like, the career, honestly, like, just made me so angry. Like, I had to miss, like, three classes. Well, you know, I, I just, I had to take a break. And the good part was these classes weren't mandatory and the whole semester I'd attended every class except for, like, two or three. And this was, like, final. So, technically, we only met to talk about our papers and I went to office hours to talk about them. So, I wasn't actually missing legit content. I was just missing because I was so angry. So, yeah, there's that. And, um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I've been dealing with this semester. Um, I'm really excited to go home. Uh, really excited. I'm actually already anxious about coming back here. I think it's because I have a research paper that I have to do. And because, you know, I kind of just turned in, like, a shitty, like, you know, like, not my best work. I'm going to have to go back and be, like past like past self like that was stupid like you know what I mean I hate when you had to go back and you're like this was my rough draft this is nothing I literally had to rewrite my final draft because I felt like I was drunk when I wrote my rough draft and now I'm just I just feel like I want to scrap the whole thing because before I came I had so many different ideas for what I wanted to do in research and then when I got the opportunity I was just so angry at the professors, angry at my classmates because it's a very small class and I felt like they just let the professors like kind of run all over me. I can defend myself, but it got to the point where it was like, even if I said something, like they would kind of not even support me or not even care. Like they would identify that the teacher said something wrong, but then they'd be like, oh, but I still want my grade, you know, like at first I saw that way too. But eventually the teacher, like, stopped saying whatever, like, I thought was, like, racist. And he... I'm sorry, there's, like, already, like, paint coming off of my new car. So they acknowledged that what he said was racist and it was stupid. One student said... That they would rather just be oblivious to like what teachers said in class and the other girl agreed that what he said was sexist racist and feminist his jokes but she's like oh I'm scared to tell anyone or whatever I guess I get it but after a while I was like this is just ridiculous finally it died down but it's like what's the point now I already had all that anger toward the teacher when I actually went to address it with him I ended up feeling bad for him But I guess I'll make some more videos. Maybe not now while I'm still going to the school. I'm not sure. I'll decide later. But I should go into details at some point of how freaking crazy the stuff they said was. And how I felt like I almost like, or I did kind of let them get away with it. But then like when I try to, you know, do something, it was just discouraging. But I'm looking forward to the break and yeah, I'm just kind of nervous to see like what I'm going to get up to with my friends at home and I miss my brothers, I miss my family and yeah, I better hurry up and finish this yogurt and get down to the airport before I miss my flight even though it's delayed. I said I would take like 10 minutes to eat this effing yogurt and head down to my friend but I am just, I don't know. I guess I just kind of wanted to talk by myself for like the last time before I go back home with my family and hang out with my friend. So, yeah, that's it for now. I'm hopefully going to have some really fun adventures in California. On Thanksgiving, I went home and I am obsessed with Viners and YouTubers right now. It's so funny. And the first person I saw was a Viner when I got off the plane. So I'm ready to see some celebrities. I'm ready to see some, like, Viners just walking down the street. Because that's what I like. About to take my friend around town. But, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll probably 
show once I get to my friends in the airport and whatnot. But adios.